You know, we feel real proud of the things that we do, but there is a lot of pride in this room where a lot of other people, but really it's a mindset for us. And we have found that those people that get involved in these volunteer activities are much more engaged as employees because they believe that we are, do are doing things for the good of the community, and they want to do that too. It is all about the team at UPS. Now, obviously, as the CEO, I have to make sure that we're going in the right direction, and I have to make sure that, uh, that the strategy uh, is what it should be, and talk about the vision, and keep communicating, and keep reinforcing what our priorities are. But this is really a team effort, and, and our people buy in as a team. It is very rare for you to hear the word I at UPS. I'm always going to talk about the team and what we do, because that's the way we look at running the business. Now, obviously, the end responsibility is mine. I understand that. But the effort and the execution is us as a group. But we're always trying to stick with our long-term strategy and talk about the uh, where we see the company going. So it, it's a balance. So really, it's about trust, and it's about service, and it's about dependability. And those are all core values that we guard pretty much with our lives. And the Aetna way really articulated the values of the company. And they were values that put people at the center of what we do. We're going to engage all of our employees to talk about what our, our future should be. But as we see that moving ahead, we do definitely with the millennials see people, planet, and then profits. Um, and they all want to talk about what we're doing with lead certification. What are we doing about um, ensuring diversity? Um, profits are nice. Um, and as I remind everybody, uh, I get to do all the cool things I do uh, because we execute. And somebody has to run the business every day. Uh, and unless you deliver on those results, you don't get the freedom to do mindfulness and all these other sorts of things that we've done as an organization. Um, and so um, the watchword that I always remember for you is under promise and over deliver. Uh, and so that's an art, um, but, um, but has worked so well so far. And so I think one of the fundamental things we have to do as leaders in our community is make certain that we are providing paths to opportunity for those individuals who are not as fortunate as we do. And that's through making certain that we have wages that, that we can in fact uh, support. The business has to support it. And sometimes you have to exercise whatever pricing power you have, as Mark did, to do the right thing. But you also have enormous resources. As businesses, we operate with the social permission of society. When we do a good job, we get more permission. And when we do a bad job, we get a lot less permission. You know, the only other point I would make I think is important is to increase your employees' business literacy. That your employees can be one of your best advocates. And how many of them really understand where the revenue comes from, how it's used in the business. A lot of them think that, you know, you take the profits and put them in your pocket and, and take them home. <laughs> They don't understand dividends. They don't understand the need to reinvest in the business. And there are ways to very simply make certain that your workforce is quite literate around everything you do and how you spend the resources that the organization has and why the company has to earn a profit. And so if you run your business well and you invest in your people and you invest in your processes and you create a product that is continuously valuable to your customers over time, so they rebuy it, then the profit comes. And you reinvest that in that value proposition and in your employees, and the profit keeps coming.